Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors, standing inside one of the most popular travel trailers in the country as far as floor plans go, the 2020 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 DBH. This bunkhouse model is great for the family that wants to get out and adventure more, want something a little bit better than entry level, but affordability, price, comfort, style, everything that you want is going to be inside this travel trailer. You're going to love it. Trust me or try to trust me. I'm gonna start right over here on the campsite with the semi L-shaped kitchen. Look at the countertop space that I have. Now this is the limited package. So you're gonna see a lot of upgraded features that are gonna make you go wow, as well they should. I got multiple GFCI ports here. So if I wanted to plug in toaster, coffee maker, absolutely could. Campside window there so I could check on the kids while I'm doing my cooking. Frosted glass inlay in the shaker style cabinets. When you open up right here, and I got the matte black, or as I like to call it, the graphite style fixtures. You're gonna see that all throughout this kitchen. Come down here to the sink. Got the apron, the undermounted farmhouse style black mite, uh, black mite stainless steel sink. I got the sprayer nozzle with the suspension assist on that. Great to reach all corners. And even a cutting board, which I always tell people, cut on the back, cause look how beautiful the top is. It's part of that seamless countertop that you wanna keep going. Plenty of shelf and drawer space too. Solid wood construction on the full extension ball bearing drives here. Got them top and bottom. Got space underneath for a trash can or more storage if you want it. Got my Greystone oven right here. LED accent light on the handles too. And if you can't see that as well as, as you normally would on these reviews, I'll show you why here in just a second. Got the grill style cover on my flush mounted three burner stove with the glass cover as well. And the backsplash that's contoured. And speaking of contour, I got the contour microwave. 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric. Got my battery disconnect, my breaker box and everything right there but look up above. All right, hang on. Now, I'm sorry, my, my forehead is giant, so it kind of absorbs and reflects light, kind of like the moon. But look at the light that we have coming into the skylight right here in the middle, hand activated, absolutely love it. Absolutely, I mean, you don't even need the lights on when you have that. Coming over here to the super slide where the living room is, which is off campsite. I got the comfortable leather sofa, which also is a jackknife for a sleeper. I got the zebra style shades that you can go light, dark, just by pulling them down. U-shaped dinette with additional storage underneath. Now, if you're looking for a spot to put, you know, the premier tackle boxes, the good backpacks, good grab and go spot right here. There you go. But when it comes to entertaining and dining, you could easily sit six people here. Plus it reduces down into a sleeper, easily fit two adults in there to sleep. But when you think about it, when was the last time you got out and had fun? When was the last time you reconnected with the loved ones, disconnected from the TV, the cell phones, the whole night, and just reconnected with those people that you love? That's what RVing is about, getting out and having fun. And with these giant bay windows that span almost the entire slide, I got the wood balances, I got the upgraded residential sidings right there you're going to have a great night's sleep but more importantly than that you're going to have great air and visibility from the light coming in with those spaces right there need more pantry storage got you covered multiple shelves right here plus i have a little mini mud room down there so if you did have some stuff you want to put down there maybe a good spot for shoes dirty boots waders might be a good spot quick cool ac furnace as well slip resistant residential style flooring I got the hideaway ladder for my bunk beds because this 26 dbh has double over double bunks on the off camp rear 300 pound capacity on both could easily get two adults plus i got power port in the top usb charging and led lights on both the kids are going to have fun with this or if you're looking for that hunting cabin or fishing cabin and the adults want to sleep up here maybe it's the ladies weekend getaway go ahead girls fight for who's going to have the top bunk. Move into the campsite rear bath, and I got plenty of room in this. Plastic bowl with the foot flush, single basin deep well sink with that matte black finish here on the vanity. Even got the mirrored medicine cabinet cornered. Let's see if you can get in there, Bobby. Look at that. Look at all that space. Plus you have the raised lip there that's going to help keep stuff steady and not fall out while you're in transit. 
But since the bathroom has its own uh, entry point and exit right here, uh, when the kids need to go to bed or if they want to stay out late, hang out at the lake, the beach, wherever, they can come in. You won't really upset what's going on in the master. Single surround shower and tub combo. The tub is a little thin. I don't know if it's deep enough to really take a bath, but you could try. And if you had the dogs, that's a great spot to spray them off. But with the skylight, not only am I getting a ton of natural light, I'm getting even more space, so I'm not gonna be bumping my knuckles if I need to wash my hands. Singles, or wash my hair. Single surround shower here. I got the corner notches, sprayer nozzle right there. You can see why, hopefully, that this is one of the most popular floor plans in the country, especially for families. We make our way down to the master. We got the main entertainment center here with the TV mount. I got the port right through there if I need to run cables. Bam, connection, power. Component shelf, Furion AM FM control, which also has Bluetooth and HDMI. So you can run the music from your phone, both inside and outside, because you got the dual zone speakers. Frosted glass inlay in the storage compartment here. And yes, sir, yes, ma'am, this does have a 30 inch Furion fireplace with the crystal bottom, backlit, multiple flame controls. That is going to do a job and a half of heating this camper, especially if people are sleeping here in the bunks. Don't worry about it. Yeah, sure, you got a great furnace, 30,000 BTU there, but that right there, golden. Double pocket doors separating the master. And let's see here. I'll slide one of these out so you can kind of see. Now, that helps keep everything private. Did you hear the noise stop when I open the door to when I close it? That solid pocket door is gonna help close everything off from what's going on out there. And since you have one on each side, if you need to get up and go use the restroom while the wife is sleeping or vice versa, don't worry about it. You're not gonna wake them up. Storage underneath the master bed as well, which is accessible through the pass-through. So if you have those large cases, large fishing rods, there you go, slide them right there. They're gonna stay safe and secure. I got the Furion charger right here, the wall plate with USB, and I got the power ports. Plus I got a dual USB charger over there and a power port. My little mini nightstand and mirrored ward storage up top. Solid shaker style cabinets. Plenty of storage, both in the wards and in the lip up above. Dual LED reading lights, high ceilings. Bright, beautiful windows on both sides. It's, it's no wonder that this is one of the most popular floor plans in the country. I know I've said that, what, 40, 80 times by now. Control panel right here, so you can check all your tanks, run all the slides, cut all the lights on. But we've seen the inside of the 2020 Forest River Grey Wolf 26 DBH. What do you say we go take a gander at the outside? Okay, so here we are on the outside, the 2020 Forest River Grey Wolf 26 DBH. You saw how nice it was on the inside? Check out the out. I got a power tongue jack up front. I don't care what travel trailer you get, having one of these, almost essential. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, diamond plated rock guard, seamless fiberglass roof going all the way over the top. Plus I got that R7 insulation through here. Great to keep the climate where you need it. Aluminum siding. I'm a big fan of how they match the gray and the blue. I mean, the brown, I wasn't a big fan of, but the gray and the blue, I like it. If you got the solar panels, there's your 10 amp plug right there for the quick connect. Got your storage right here. And as you can see, it is accessible from the master bed. This is that area right there. Now you could absolutely have the service folks close that off for you, but if you're doing hunting or fishing trips, just that's a good spot for the cases, the rods, the whole nine. Heated and sealed enclosed underbelly on this. Got my front leveling jack right there solid steps going into the entry point. Plus I got the extra large grab handle that acts as a door guard coming in. Large awning spanning almost the entire side over here, plus the LED light strip underneath and the hideaway. <laughs> I love it. Two burner outside kitchen with mini fridge, sprayer and ice maker. I mean, talk about doing some entertaining. You got the kids playing, you got the dogs going, you got the TV mount right here, playing the TV with your power port and your cable connections right there. I mean, you can't, you can't help but have fun. And I'd mentioned on the inside that the speakers were dual zone. So you could play something out here separate, 
play it in there or have everybody watching and listening to the same thing. It's about having fun, getting out and about. Double axle, 15 inch aluminum wheels right here. And you see that extra wide berth. These are the Dexter Easy Lube axles. That's gonna help with that suspension going down the road. You're not gonna be rocking back and forth. Black tank flush is uh, campsite on this. Great feature to have uh, on any travel trailer, but having it over here, when you're dumping and everything over there, you follow me. Got the leash guard right here. So if you do have the fuzzy ones out with you, you could hook them up, have everybody playing. They're not gonna be running off and running away from you. Entry point right here to the bathroom. Come around to the back. We got the four x four sewer hose storage there, bike rack here, spare tire. And if you notice those arch ceilings right there, that's gonna help keep the elements, the snow, the rain off of you and the camper. And those three inch nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't fall on the side or the slides. Additional storage right here under the bunks. And you could absolutely lift up the bottom bunk and access this storage if you wanted to. I got my low point drains right here, wastewater holding tanks, gray, black. I got my rear leveling jacks right there. External shower with hot and cold, LED safety light, fresh water and city water connection, plus my 30 amp service plug right there. That massive slide with the U-shaped dinette and the jackknife sofa right here. Low point drain is under there. It's actually on the other side of that I-beam here on the frame. Cable connection there. And the most important part of any travel trailer that you look at, the info panel. This is where you wanna check and see how much does this vehicle weigh. For example, gross vehicle weight for this one, 7,700 pounds. Now for a bunkhouse, not quite 30 feet, that's a great weight. But ask your specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this the right one for me? But if you're a family that's looking for an easy floor plan, it's gonna have plenty of space, plenty of style, and comfort to fit everybody, you gotta check out the 2020 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 DBH. What else do I need to say? So leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you think about this travel trailer? What'd you like about it? What did you not like about it? I love hearing from you. And as always, please like and subscribe so we can bring you new stuff. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Appreciate it. Hope to see you soon. And as always, come check out a camper because they are fun, especially for the family. Thank <laughs> you.